Hey everybody, my trip to the guitar show is brought to you by the following brands. Audio Kitchen, Break the Machine, Honey Boy Amps, Lewitt Audio, Orange Amplifiers, Two Notes Audio Engineering, and Zoom. Hey everybody, I'm here, very happy to be with Matt from Fidelity Guitars, and we've been talking online for quite some time. Yeah, just a little while, and two years. Yeah, just two years. <laughs> but I, in fact, I haven't touched the guitar yet. I was going to say I was very excited about touching the guitar. I haven't done it yet. Do you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm the kind of guy that at Christmas, I get given a present, yeah, yeah. thank you very much, and then I don't open it. <laughs> just the, the wonder of what's inside that. <laughs> is such a thrill for me. You're only going to be disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I could kind of that but right <laughs> now, I'm very excited, like a small child about to open a present. So I'm not going to do it to hold this feeling within me. And while I feel that, Matt's going to tell you about Fidelity Guitars. Right. Um, Off you go. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm going three, three and a bit years, something like that now, um, and really came into it completely cold. So I was doing marketing for a decade before that, and kind of got to the point where I didn't enjoy turning up to work every day and, and thought I'd do something that actually kind of made me happy to get up and, and do. So a bit of an engineering background uh, and a bit of a guitar background um, to kind of Failed engineer, failed guitarist, smashed the two together, and hey. yeah. <laughs> suddenly you're a luthier. So I had a year, year where I had like a corner of a barn and just got a load of power tools and set up a spray booth and just started hacking at bits of wood and drawing designs and stuff like that. And then, and then went full time, started 2017, and kind of haven't looked back yet. So it's, it's still just me, but um, just been trying to. Sort of but get people are raving right about you, guys. Hello. I, uh, sorry, you're, right? good. you're good. You're absolutely good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's definitely mine. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of it. So just been trying to get better at it over the last few years, but at the same time, it's sort of building a brand and actually actually selling some guitars and kind of working on that. So it was just a, oh, I'm in a video. Bye. Make you famous. Yeah, I mean, what was the turning point before? Like, you, you're kind of playing it down now. Like, I'm hacking a bits of wood and, and yeah, yeah. But your guitars are very popular at the moment, and people every time someone sees them, they they look very unique yeah okay. but, but not too unique that they're weird yeah know? that was that was always the sort of game sort of day one was like I, I started by just like drawing boxes the same size as tellies and sgs and stuff like that and just start drawing lines inside it until things like come together and, and resolve but i always wanted to be like if you'd gone up to your granddad's like attic and found this dusty old guitar case and opened it and it was something you'd never seen from like the 60s or 70s that like, that was the idea for how everything should look like familiar but not not familiar at the same time. I wanted to be like left, a little bit left field, but not like going into chrome plated UFO guitar kind of territory. So, yeah, I hear yeah. you. I think you've nailed it. I mean, even the even the headstock, which um, which you may not know, but headstocks are um, trademarked by companies like Fender and yeah. stuff. So that's the part. Body shapes are kind of cool, but headstocks are the ones that you have to steer clear of. Yeah. How did you come up with a headstock? Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. So just sort of work, find the constraints, and then. It's sort of it's telly-ish influence yeah. in how it looks, but it was finding something that works with the the body shape as well. So it's sort of body shapes first, and then worked up to the the headstock afterwards. Because you can do you could do something, you could do a few different models, and then have to do a new headstock for each one. And it was kind of find something that resolves to be representative of the brand at the same time. In the same way that like a a strat is a strat headstock yeah. and a telly is a telly headstock. So I end up with this kind of sort of slim. I call it like a goose. <laughs> Goose beak, kind of thing, which is it's not really selling it, but uh, that's kind of that's kind of how it looks. So yeah, sort of slim, slim fender style one, uh, and then I've always liked the like the, the vintage sort of Cluson style gottos, but with the the locking kind yeah. of wheels on the back, just so it's really easy to change the string like mid gig or whatever. Awesome. Um, if you haven't seen Fidelity Guitars yet, you should do because there's photos all over Instagram. It's a very Instagrammable guitar, yeah, or they it. are, I should yeah, say. Yeah, I think it's got that, that kind of, everything's all beat up as well. Oh, so you've just know. dropped something there. There we go. Bargain. Yeah, bargain, it is a bargain. <laughs> just check it, oh, not bad. Yeah, it's a, I don't want to, it's like, you could say like lifestyle brands, and it sounds a bit like, yeah, but it, it's, this whole room kind of represents it, wants to be yeah. like, you can, you can picture it sort of in your living room. It's something you've played for years. It's kind of. I think this would get uh, my girlfriend's acceptance in the living room. Good. That's I think that's the kind of maybe not the white one, but certainly this bass. Yeah. 
that's kind of homely, you know. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. By the fireside. Yeah. But it's a bass, so <laughs> I can't play it because I can't play bass. But that one is too is too much for my, my living room. Okay. I would want it in the living room. It's got some steampunk living room. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see the living room at which that looks at home in. <laughs> Um, it kind of looks like a coffee maker for some reason. Yeah, it's got that too, hasn't it? It's got like, all the, the pipes and the bells and the whistles, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that one would be the most suitable in my living room. I'll have to ask. She doesn't watch my videos, so it doesn't matter. But um, <laughs> if I was to turn up with that, I'd only have a small problem. In fact, there's a, a company over the way doing showcases. They're called R&R oh, right. Showcases. Awesome. Um, frames to put your guitar in with uh, lighting right, and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That would look insane in one of those. Yeah. Let's do that. We're going to have a little chat. Come on, have a look. See if we can do a little trade. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to have a little play, have a little feel. And um, if you want more information, the website is? Uh, www. I don't have to say that anymore, do you? Uh, www. Do you know, it's, there's a World Wide Web is yeah. only three syllables. W, W is nine. Yeah. Fidelity-guitars.co.uk. Thank you, Matt. Okay, and uh, there's links down below, and you can click all sorts of stuff. Go and check the other videos in this playlist for the Guitar Show Birmingham 2020, and I'll see you in one of those other videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>that made this content possible without them you simply wouldn't be watching this so go and check them out there are links in the video description down below there are also plenty more videos in this guitar show 2020 playlist and you can watch those by clicking the link on screen right now i'll see you in the next video